Hey kids, welcome. Episode 219. And we think we're fancy today. We are a little bit fancy. We are a lot of bit. A lot. Um, we spent <clears throat> last Sunday painting the studio. We're getting to be real professionals. We have to start doing video. And we have video going today. I didn't have any warnings, so I have on pajama pants that I slept in, a shirt I slept in. I have bad habits. I'll be smashing a spoon all over my face and crossing and uncrossing my toes mm-hmm. the whole episode. But here we are. Yeah. Haven't showered today. My hair is all different. I took one shapes. yesterday, so I'm real fancy. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm extra fancy. It's a hot day today. It's 962 it's degrees. summertime outside. Finally. Um, yeah, I know. We haven't had no summer weather Mm-mm. at all. Today is almost like swim worthy. Not that we are, but it's nice. You could, in theory. It's definitely swim worthy today. Yeah. Um, today is a Friday. Is it? It's Friday. It's a holiday weekend beginning. Um, I may or may not go out tonight. And yeah. I'm eating berries. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, but to probably pick the fucking kids up if they need a ride. Yeah. Yeah, because apparently they got plans. I got a Bloody Mary going. Oh, God. That's always Great. a good look. I'm not on my meds, so we've been laughing about that for probably like the past hour since I've been here. Um, <laughs> no, her, for her real. Judgment, her judging me constantly. I'm trying to be the uh, responsible friend on the shoulder. But you know when I get excited and about something? And she laughs at me. I'm not going to listen. Like, if I tell you something I'm excited about, it's already done. But I get to say, when you say, why didn't you tell me I'm going to go? I Uh, fucking told you this time. Yeah. I really did. you're just making insurance for yourself in case I... I'm making myself look good. Right. It's for you, is what it is. No, I really... All right. Really am serious, but, you know, Um, you're going to do what you want to do. But I'm going to shove meds in your mouth while you're sleeping. So, (laughs) you're going to crush them up and put them in my next drink. Absolutely. fucking lovely Um... I will say the other day I made a tweet because I've been more active on Twitter lately and I made a tweet that said, um, wow, like I'm realizing I'm much more creative off my meds. And somebody was like, okay, Kanye West, no bullshit though. It's true. I'm, I'm much more creative. I have much, many more ideas rapidly coming at me. Um, I can't describe it that much it's creative mania it, it, it kind of is like I have all these ideas I'm getting more shit done weirdly even though I'm all over the place yeah um, you are all over the you're doing <laughs> crystal bitch fuck you <laughs> you're doing a crystal but last night for example I said go click on our bio <laughs> And look at what I did at 3.30 in the morning. I with have 6% this, battery. With six, It was a game. It was like a video game. I was like, let's see if I make it. If I don't, all the kids are dying. That's, you know, in your brain, you play those games. I was doing that. You know, normal The charger stuff. was within reach, but I was like, no, we're going to get this Mm-mm. shit done. Um, shit like that I've been doing. And what's happened is um, I have this new sleep schedule that's mm-hmm. going, the sleep pattern. And it's I wake called, up. I go to bed at 6 a.m. No. I wake up at noon. <laughs> no. No, actually, I go to bed at like 10, 30-ish, like when I put peas down. Mm-hmm. I think last night I let her stay up till like 11 or maybe 11.30. And then um, that's my first round of sleep, right? We, so then my brain wakes me up at like two, three ish. And then I start doing activities. So like that can, you know, be that's what I've been doing for years. Your life. That's yeah. Well, fucking I've what I do. You. So that's why I, I have one of the reasons I'm always exhausted. <laughs> one of many reasons. I eat hella sweets. I started shopping for credenzas because I was like, this is really going to be nice for my, um, my circus room, my living room, <laughs> uh, my clown living room. <laughs> Yesterday I had a conversation with my cousin who is like, was, was battling whether or not to go to like Santa Barbara and pick up this used credenza that he got a deal on. And so he shows me that he's been shopping for some. And I was like, that looks exactly like one crystal has. She finds them up here all the time. We started talking about it and I was like, Oh, now this sparked something inside of me. Now I think I need one. So that was one of my activities Mid-mod last night. Credenza's credenzas it would really set my living 
room off. So, um, I, that was my first activity. And then I started looking at shoes, of course, cause I have a quite a problem for shoes. And then I was like, I need somewhere. I need all of our links to be accessible. My personal ones, my only fans, if you have not subscribed yet, did you put that on the thing? Not on, not only fans. I put it on my own. Oh, I thought you put it on the hello dysfunction. I was like, wow, bitch, you're really getting on you your right. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't give a fuck if you did. I your really wouldn't. Got I was weird. like, you did? No, <laughs> but no. I wouldn't care. No, but I was like, I need all of our links. Uh, people be asking for our PO box. Mm-hmm. People, you know, just things that we people ask us for, right? Like it really where, was a good idea. Where to send write-ins, all that shit, right? So I made a link for all of that shit for the hello dysfunction page. So if you go. Go on our Instagram, click the link in our bio, and you'll see how cute it is. We're professionals. We're professional business women. So I did that, and then I was like, I need one for my links, like um, Amazon Storefront, Cash App, OnlyFans, Cash App, um, <laughs> PayPal, things that people need to send me. So I was like, let me make one also for my page. So I did that. I knocked out two in like I don't know how long, but I figured out how to do it. That ain't no shit I knew how to do before. And me on my meds probably wouldn't have did all that. I'd be like, chill. So knocked that out. Um, went to bed. Woke up again at 7. Got up for a minute. Did some more surfing and email checking and shit. That's been my routine. Then went back to bed. Went back to sleep. Woke up again at 11.30. So. I love doing that. I'm getting shit done that I normally wouldn't. So even though my brain is feeling super overwhelmed and I'm all over the place, I am still being productive. I just ate cherries. Is it a bad thing? You know? No. Um, I will say the hardest thing about not being on my meds is managing my time because I keep getting all these ideas and thoughts and reminders of shit that needs to get done. And then I don't know if you've noticed in my emails, the urgency for things yes um (laughs) the way you text me did you order the merch with three question marks daily three question marks is fucking pretty aggressive usually you send me none or one i'm getting fucking three (laughs) and i'm sending that like daily because um i'm getting (laughs) reminders of shit that we need to take care of but everything feels really urgent Mm -hmm. to me in my brain hi no (laughs) Hey yeah. girl. So here I am with you. Yes. And, um, so that's the reason for that. And so, um, I can't managing my time for the millions of like tasks and things my brain is telling me have to be done right now. It kind of fucked us up when we were in LA. Yeah. We went to LA for Bunny's birthday this last weekend and it was me and my two home girls, Stevie and Bunny. And um, we had like things planned and we couldn't even get like half of them done. One, because they like to sleep in hella late. Oh, for sure. And two, because my brain is all over the place. So my time management is not as good as it normally is. So I will say that's one thing that meds help with also. Yeah. Be- you know, with ADHD, you don't view time the same and it doesn't matter. Like I am time and importance. Sorry. Right. Because, um, you have a very, and I was just saying this to a friend. Um, I was just saying this to, uh, Justin today because of his ADHD. I was saying, um, one of the areas that Mark and I argue or um, he gets very frustrated with me is because I have a very lackadaisical attitude. I'm very oh, like what? lackadaisical. Okay, we're gonna take a moment to tell me what the fuck that is first. Um, of, of non-importance. I've never heard that word in my life. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna read you the official Lack- definition. Are you saying it right? Lackadaisical. Probably not. I think I am, but maybe not. We'll see. But it, you basically, it's just like go with the flow, like. Hmm. Whereas right right now for me, everything feels like a panic and everything feels like, fuck, I'm about to disappoint hella people. So that's, which I normally don't care about. That's what I feel like because I put everything off till the last minute when I have stuff to do and then I have to boom, boom, boom it. But Mm -hmm. I, but I work better under pressure. If I have a time crunch, Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll get it done. I don't know if that's what's happening with me because I am getting some shit done, but it doesn't feel um, like I'm doing better under pressure. It feels like I'm feeling more stressed out under pressure. So I am saying it right. It is lackadaisical. Lack. 
a days ago. You're really fancy today because we're in this room. I'm fucking smart. She showed I'm off. I'm fucking. D- <laughs> I might be you're, dressed, but I'm a mm, little bit smart. Mm, you're showing off because we're in this fucking room right now. You know, it's really. I love that word. I like that word, and I really like. Um, Where the fuck did you learn it? Not school. Nona. Hmm. No, my grandpa said it to me as a kid. He said, you have a real lackadaisical attitude. Oh. Duh. All right. But um, it basically means like. Um, Nonchalant. Yep. Cruising Care- through the flowers. Carelessly lazy. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cruising through the flowers with yeah, no care in the world. That's what I imagined in my head. Daisies. And, yeah. And that's how I am. And, you know, I'm an example of it doesn't matter if I plan out. So let's say we have a wedding to go to and I'm like, I know how long it takes me to get ready. Yeah. I'm going to allot myself four hours just to be safe. I will still be fucking 20 minutes, 30 minutes late out yeah. the door. And I've had people tell me that's a sign of um, disrespect, right? Sometimes, but yeah. If they don't know there's a thing, a mental thing going I on. I have yeah. no... It, it's not because I don't give a fuck about your shit or you're not yeah. important to me. It's not for lack of trying. Yeah. It's just... It is what it is. So Maybe you got to communicate that to people that don't know how you go through the daisies because for, <laughs> um, if they don't know that could be seen as like, wow, she don't give a fuck about my right, shit. This right. important day to me when really it's just, this is how my brain like works. I'm doing Bear my with fucking me. best. Yeah. yeah. No things like, um, meeting up. I wanted to meet up with my cousin, Eric, while we were down there, Ali, one of our listeners, mm-hmm. long time listeners, home girl. I wanted to meet up with her. Like I didn't have time even for little things like that, like mm-hmm. to, to coordinate, to meet up with them. Even when I knew we were going to have coffee, coffee and like eat somewhere like so that was kind of stressing me and like um I don't normally have these struggles so even though I am getting some shit done that I feel like I normally wouldn't that part of it is very stressful the time management right now is like down the toilet it's like fucking the balancing (sighs) scales it worth it and it makes me feel like this weird stress that I don't normally feel because I know I'm fucking up with the, t- the time. Uh, yeah. It's and I'm usually on top fucking of it. Panicked anxiety. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, it's panic. It is panic. Uh, and, um, yeah, I had to like send out apologies and shit to people. And I was just like, fuck, like why I, do you my think intention- I'm an over apologizer. Like- <laughs> we'll see how long <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing a lot of shit that I wouldn't normally do. I think, I think so too. Yeah, I've told you probably three things in the past day that you're like, what? I'm like, Mm-mm. <laughs> meds. Yes. You, would you make, I said in the car earlier, would you make this decision if you were on your meds? And she's like, I would. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I think a little more thought would be put into it. Maybe yeah. a smidge, a smidge. I don't know. But, you know, I don't know. That You know what? That's one of my biggest reasons for, well, it's up there for not trying meds for ADHD yet is because I'm really scared it's going to alter me. I think it alters my creativity. Now that I have a full example of being off them for like, you know, mm-hmm. um, I haven't been off them for this long, like probably since I had the baby. Cause you know, I would go a few weeks, but I'd jump back on now. I'm probably like six weeks out. Yeah. Our Honestly, fr- like maybe a little longer. Yeah. But our, our friend with ADHD, he like free balls it a lot. And mm-hmm. then when he knows he needs to get shit done, he'll take his meds. Yeah. I'm like getting close to the edge where I'm like, I'm going to have to get back on him soon for a little it's bit. It's not comfortable. Yeah. It's very, I don't like feeling panicky all the time. And that's how I feel. It feels very out of control. Mm-hmm. And I, I hate that. It's feeling. like a world of chaos. Yeah. But even though creativity is up here though, like yeah. as far as like Isn't a lot of different up? things. Yeah. So it does sacrifice some of that. It does. It's like but you get no sex drive and I'm going to steal your fucking your, creativity. Yeah. And that's, the, yeah, fuck. I don't know. We'll but see. you're not going to jump out of the car in the Taco Bell drive through and rip the fucking cashier's eyes out. Yeah. So that's a plus. Yeah. I, I was a little laughing at a meme the other night, like the night before last. It said, um, you know how fat you got to be tall? <laughs> <laughs> You know how fat you gotta be to <laughs> to honk in a drive. <laughs> and I was like, You're like I've done it multiple <laughs> times. Like I do it Hurry all fucking time. up, bitch! You're yelling, "Go, bitch!" Out the fucking window. I was in tears, laughing because I was like, I do it quite often. <laughs> 
but yeah of course um, oh god fuck <laughs> but yeah like the again urgency i've been honked at in the starbucks drive through before you want to know why because i fell asleep like a heroin addict in the drive through <laughs> they're like did that bitch just nod off but the only oh thing that God. saved it the only thing that saved it was it was fucking 5 a.m so it was like understandable when you would park i hope no oh my God. that's risky it was i didn't oh. mean to but i fucking dude i i get honked at all the time I'm in not for good reason. I'm usually the one honking and it's like, you gotta chill out. I'd be you afraid gotta... someone's gonna fucking shoot. I mean, I'll honk if it's like dangerous. Like uh, <laughs> they're about to slam into my car or yeah. something. Other than that, I just I'm be like, a fucking bitch. I'm I'd like, be, wake up. Bitch. I'd be lackadaisical about it yeah. because I'm like, everyone has a fucking gun. I don't want killed over fucking no, road rage. You're right. Which sucks. Speaking of killed. Um, All right. There was something really funny that happened the other day. I sent you part Speaking of it. Speaking of killed, there was something really funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell it. So I didn't tell you like the whole, I didn't show you the whole exchange. I think, I think I just told you real quick what I did. Um, again, another thing that you were probably shaking your head Which at. Which one? But, um, you know, I comment on the blog sometimes, it, like on, you know, different topics that whatever. I'm not even tell you where my brain went with fucking you just saying something I shared with you. Because <laughs> <laughs> it could be a lot of shit. No, let me tell you. So, um, sometimes I'll leave like a, a snide comment or something on like a, a blog page or whatever. And it, it brings people to my page, I've noticed, that don't normally That's follow me, right? That's why I comment from Hello Dysfunction's page on shit. Um, so some guy had like <clears throat> went on my page and I guess started going through my photos. And Great. I didn't realize it, but they're in one of my slide, you know, posts, um, if in, in a slide somewhere, it, there's still a picture of Buck mm. and they said, Oh wow. That's fucking crazy. Small ass world. Like I met him and I served him drugs before <laughs> in California. He's from Florida and blah, blah, blah. So my immediate, wow. I said, he died. And so he, <laughs> Bitch. I got so you irritated. have to get on your meds. <laughs> so irritated <laughs> that this was even still uh, visible to the people right you're like so i'm slipping i said um i said he died and so the guy was like oh damn for real i served him some drugs like at the motel six <laughs> in Pano and i was like yep he's dead and they were like damn r.i.p to bruh and and i was just hella satisfied with myself i was like you put yep. a crying face i didn't i was just praying oh, no no hands. i think i said yep a pure knock or i said something like that and i was just like yep moving on swipe you know and then i, I hit you so and that I was like, fucking dude thinks that he's dead yeah and so i was like this is really satisfying <laughs> look what i just told somebody <laughs> so now and she fucking sent it to me if anybody asks that's what i'm doing from here on out he's dead. If i don't fuck with you I mean, I'm not lying in my brain, in my life, dead you are in, exactly. So I'm not lying. Um, so if anybody asks about people that I don't fuck with, that's my new response. And I thought that was great. You're dead to me. Yeah. Before um, I forget, let me, let me just say thank you to Mark for all his hard work in here. I thought you were about to thank me. I was like, thank you yep. for being a piece of shit. I got all like, mm, I know. Ah! So what? <laughs> For what this time? You were ready to stand up and bow. I was gonna say, don't worry about it. What were you? <laughs> my attitude. Why I wanted to thank him for all his hard work in the studio. I have it in my notes, but I'm I'll forget. Oh, okay. Because girl, yeah, he spent fucking. I helped Natalia and I helped paint these walls. Yeah, but he like got on. In his no hands way did I think you did most of this. I did, dude. No, in no way. Oh, did ask I ever. him. I did. I hell said, of it. I said most of it. I did not think that you. It was you. Oh no, he. he he, you know, he works through 100% of it. I probably only did fucking 65. Like, he did That's a good job. generous. I did. Ask him. I did. 65 is more than half, girl. I, I did more than... Do you know what? It was like taping this room off. I taped off most of the room. Oh, That's right. the worst okay. part. Well, give you both your flowers. Okay. While you were mismanaging time. <laughs> <laughs> Honking and Taco Bell and share. I know. <laughs> Right. Let me tell um, you about my fucking. I got something really important. I want to talk too. about PGE for a second. That, for those that don't know, PGE is our fucking 
power bitches here in I California. I owe them over a thousand dollars. Okay, right now. let me tell you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You better share tell a story. me because, and then I'm gonna tell you part of you, branching off from your fucking okay. story because you're about to get me fucked up. So. <laughs> Um, you know, Carolyn moved into the trailer in March of 2020. I set up her card at that time for automatic payments from oh. PG&E because my dad was paying the rent. Well, Carolyn had ordered a new card sometime um, after the first few months she lived in the trailer. And I didn't mm. think nothing of it. Um, and, you know, my dad died. My dad's dead. Dead dad. He's dead. And um, since he's dead now... She's fucking responsible. And, you know, for those that don't know, Carolyn lives on SSI. It doesn't even fully cover the rent. So me and my mom and Will make up the difference for groceries, the rest of the rent, PG&E, Cash Wi-Fi, stuff, yeah. all of it. Mm-hmm. Well, somehow PG&E slipped through because in my head I'm thinking it's still coming off her card it's not okay mm-hmm. well i get a call friday last friday at fucking 5 p.m from carolyn talking about p Ginny shut me off because i need to pay them <laughs> <laughs> so she's in the dark her battery's low <laughs> her phone's I gonna die to say <laughs> Don't fucking make me responsible for anything in life. No, I'm serious. sick of being responsible. Yeah, you have enough on your own plate. I'm so tired of being responsible. I had a yeah. little baby breakdown and I was like, I don't want to be responsible anymore. I don't. And I'm not fucking good at it. Not when it comes to financial shit. I'm I not. I don't think it's fair that so much be piled on you and you have capable siblings that I hope are watching. So and listening. Will, Will helps a lot. Okay. Will, you know, he, Richard. He, my job is very flexible, right? So it's easy f- for me to do the majority, right? Um, if I need Will, Will's there in a heartbeat. Will okay. pays her Wi-Fi. Like, mm-hmm. you know, Rich is sweet baby angel. And um, if I call him and I'm like, can you drop off Carolyn Cat litter? He'll go do it. Okay. But <clears throat> it is what it is. Yeah. Um, so... I am like, okay, I'm going to call PG and E. So I'm trying to get to my eyelash appointment. I make it there. Port- it was in the daytime. Thank God. So it, so it was, um, like four forty five when I walked into Priscilla, I'm like, it's fucking chaos. It's always chaos. I'm like, you have, and so I'm on the phone with PG and E while she's doing my fucking eyelashes. It's on speaker. Basically PG and E tells me they're not telling me shit unless Carolyn's by me. Right. So you go, hello, I, this is Carolyn. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm Carolyn. I make up a what, voice. What do you need? Right. Yeah. Um, so I don't. I'm like, fuck, Priscilla, you got 20 minutes. Just do what you can. She's amazing. The For shit you? That she can do in 20 minutes. I know. Because you. she was telling me she one day. She never has a full appointment No, with she me. was like, I don't, honestly, I don't remember the last time I had a full appo- appointment with Crystal. I never I get to like, relax. I'm not surprised. I never yeah. get to lay there and mm-hmm. get them all done. But sh- I texted her like two days later and I just was like, you're fucking amazing for what you can do. And I really appreciate you always working around my chaos because it's always something. So anyways, I get to the trailer. I have Carolyn come out because, of course, I want to smoke cigarettes. And so we get somebody on the line and she's hella fucking rude. And she's like, I can't talk to you unless we have a copy of Power of Attorney. I can't talk to you. Carolyn needs to be asking me all the questions. That was an amateur mistake. You were supposed to say you were Carolyn from the jump here's why because I needed them to know um something's wrong with her basically (laughs) you know and and why this happened and why the bill is fucking nine thousand dollars and shit okay? okay so that's why and so when she says that I'm like okay great I get it I have to have her parrot the questions to you well the way Carolyn's brain works even if I say Carolyn ask her what month is your payment due? She's not going to be able to parrot it. She can't mm. repeat, articulate it, right? It's not how her brain works. Okay. So for like five minutes, we're trying to do it. And the woman goes, this ain't going to work. I can't help you. This ain't going to work. Y'all are going to have to get it together and get a power of attorney. Ooh. And she's like, I- I'm sorry. I can't help you. I get fucking pissed. I call up. I'm like, I want a supervisor. Mm-hmm. I said, I want a supervisor or somebody in a position of authority. Real quick, before I lose it, 
um, your psycho aunt taught me when you call someone for anything, really, as soon as they answer the phone, get their name. Yep. I got her name. As soon as you fucking do that, yep. it makes people a lot more helpful and, and behave. And yeah, exactly. Yep. So that's one thing that she taught she me many things, for. but yeah, business shit. She's very fucking smart. Oh yeah. So, um, yeah, I guarantee for all of you out there, get yeah, names, get names as soon as they get on the fucking phone. Yep. So I had her name. And then, so when I call back, I'm like, I want a supervisor or somebody in a position of authority. He gets on the phone. And let me say, shout out Valentine from PG&E. He was fucking great. Mm-hmm. But I basically said, this feels, I, I explained Carolyn's situation and her disability. And I said, she is unable to articulate these questions. This feels very predatory. You, this goes against the ADA, you know, the Disabilities Act, blah, did, blah, blah. Um, did they want you to pay the whole thing in full to get it cut back on? 70%. We had to pay 70%. So that happened to us before, like years ago. And they were like, we can't cut it on unless you pay it in full. I'm really sorry. But that's what happens when you get cut off. Oh, I tra- And I was like, oh, this was in like 2018 or something. I had just got back from Florida. That's insane. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the bill was $2,800. Because guess when the last payment was made? July of 2020, dude. The only reason it stayed on so long was, was COVID. <gasps> oh, my God. So... I'm like, Carolyn, they didn't send you a fucking notice. They send text messages to me all the time, which I'll get into in a minute. Okay, so the reason that she never got the notices in the mail is because her address is a two-line address. Uh huh. So it never made it to her because in their, the way he explained it was when you have a two-line address, for example, um, 975 Jones Road, And then it's like space number 1642. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that gets cut off in their computer. And so when it gets sent out. Then that makes it your fault. Right. In my brain. But I said, let me see your phone. I look. They've been texting her for five months. Like, we need a payment. $2,100. She's like, stop. I'm watching fucking YouTube. Oh, I need to post a screenshot of her responses. My family does it. My family do it. And I'm like, oh, my God. Right. Long story short, we have to pay 70%, which was 15 something. So if your PG&E gets cut off in California, you're paying 70% to get it back on. This is good information for me. At least show good faith and call them and be like, I'm having a struggle. Okay. Can I pay you 40 bucks right now? So we were here. Wait, go ahead. Okay. So there's one more thing he said. So we paid, you know, the 70%. And then he said, if she makes her next payment on time, just one payment. Okay. And that amount of PG&E bill, Mm -hmm. Carolyn's on a discounted program Mm -hmm. as well. So fucking PG&E is crazy expensive. It It really is. Um, So he said, if she makes her next payment on time, he said, it don't matter if she makes every payment after that late, but Mm -hmm. if this next payment's on time, she'll qualify for something called the aim program Mm -hmm. and they will forgive the rest of the balance. Oh, so we're paying that motherfucker on time. Pay it early. I'm paying it Monday. (laughs) Pay it today. No, for real. (laughs) As soon as it's it's getting paid and then they'll forgive it. So, um, don't let your PG&E get cut off. I think I forgot what I was about. Oh, okay. I remember we were talking about PG&E before probably me not paying mine and um because it's infuriating it's so fucking expensive it is we and then pay for water which is a natural resource yeah okay Sorry. so listeners had wrote in and they were like there's this program if you tell them that you can you can't afford to pay it or like you can only afford to pay you know really small amount whatever they'll forgive the rest of it like a one-time thing up to i want to say five thousand or something wow so multiple people told us this. Okay. Multiple. I think listeners. I remember you mentioning it. I did a few episodes back. Um, so in my head, I was like, Oh, I'm good. I'm running it up. I ain't paid it. Mm. Um, when was the last time I paid it? It's probably been like three months or mm. something right now. It's up to like 1200. No, it's more than that right now. It's up to like 1300 13 do you 14. get discounted pg i'm on the care program that's what but Caroline like has. that ain't enough that's taking not like tax like barely tax. it's all it's it's literally only like 20 something percent it's nothing it's nothing it's like it's nothing so 
I knew that my shit was like getting racked up. Right. So, Mm -hmm. um, and they do be calling my phone and I ignore it. And then they text me and I'm like, I always mean I have good intentions in my soul and my heart. Right. And I'm like, I'm going to, the Lord knows I want to call them, but right. I'm doing other shit right now. But you're like, honking. I can't even make a doctor's appointment. Crystal. <laughs> and I'm honking at people in Taco Bell right now. I'll right. do it later. That's where my money's um, going. So I, you know, I had all these intentions anyways. Um, I went to go get my lashes done the other day and Priscilla is telling me about how you came in and I was like, you know, Crystal told me that because of COVID, they're not cutting people off. So So in my mind, I was like, I could pay them whatever, whenever, like it's good. And I was like, my shit better not get cut off because I'm going to blame her. And so she proceeded to tell me what happened to Carolyn. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh shit. So I logged in. I want today I logged in and I was like going to make a, um, payment arrangement for like half of it. Like, um, next week or something and then i was gonna try to get the rest of it written off right through their shit yep, the aim program girl i go to make a payment arrangement they say you don't qualify for one yeah. so i've probably gone delinquent on a previous payment arrangement because they're like we don't even fuck with you like that no more call there ask for a supervisor Tell i'm asking you're for disabled Valentine. yeah mm-hmm. you're disabled mm-hmm. i mean literally technically right so yeah. tell them you're disabled tell them you're in a horrible financial hardship yeah and ask them what is the minimum i can pay to keep my power on okay i just had you know told someone else to do that as well i said just don't let it get cut off yeah at least i'm not like uh, like 2000 or anything i'm at like not 20 fucking no no i'm at like 14 which is still a lot but like shit there were some months when my shit was like 300 dollars. like why i live in a motherfucking apartment like why is yours sometimes a trailer dude this last month it was only a hundred dollars and so like what like i don't even be using shit and be at home like that so you know, they live in a mobile home, right? Yeah. A trailer. It's not big. I mean, it's a double yeah. wide, but it ain't fucking huge. It's two what bedroom. What is it per month? On like, so there's months. I don't know what it is right now. Um, I'll have to look at the current fucking bill when I go over there. But I know during the winter, there were months even on the care program where her PG&E was over two hundred and thirty dollars a month. That's bullshit. Like when she first moved in, that's um, insane. That's when the rates jump, like certain times a year, and I don't like that. I want it to be like I know what I got to pay every month. You know, someone on SSI like Carolyn. Let me. I'm just not to just tell all the business, but when you're on SSI she doesn't get more than fucking eleven hundred dollars right her pay don't fluctuate so like the rent is more than that yeah it's fucking it's it's fucked up it's i don't Mm -hmm. know how you know disabled people without family are expected to survive and you know only fans um follow my only fans no (laughs) I don't have OnlyFans, but I have a cash app. I'll send you. I'll link it, I I'll, guess, I'll in our bio. I'll send you photos of me playing with I my I put cat. it in our bio. Good girl. <laughs> so, um, some good news. Oh, do you tell them a baby? Shut up. That's pro- a baby. That's a dummy. This is that professional is business going on. That's fish. His name's Big Tuna, and he is a handsome tuxedo. But anyways, um, some good news. I have two good news. The first one is a nearly extinct species has been seen in California in Santa Cruz. It's a Santa Cruz kangaroo rat. It hasn't been seen in like 70 years. So they just got smarter. They didn't die They're like, out. fuck you humans. Mm-hmm. We're going fucking dormant. We're staying the fuck dormant. away from y'all. Yes. So... That sounds scary, whatever it is. It's so cute. It's a little kangaroo rat. It's a little back feet or like little kangaroo feet. It's like Mm -mm. really adorable. I don't want it. I I love it. I want it. And then, you know, the Delphi murder case um, that I've been obsessed with, the two 13-year-old girls that were murdered. Uh Uh-huh. So, you know, um, I had mentioned a while back when they arrested the suspect, they arrested him. Well, they released some court documents and it came out... um, Earlier this year, he fucking confessed to killing them three different times while on the phone with his wife. So that bitch 100... I mean, I already so he did. thought he did it. Yeah. He absolutely did it. Oh, uh, well, at least they got the right guy. Yeah. Okay, good. That's good news. He's trying to claim mental illness now. He's like lost a bunch of weight and he's trying to act like, oh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's like, bitch, you weren't mentally ill when you got arrested. Mm-mm. No, I, so don't pull that shit out now. So, bitch, I can't. I just, I just hmm. hope he just fucking gets the worst. Death penalty. Absolutely. 
And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Growing up, I can remember how nobody ever spoke about mental health. I mean, it literally didn't exist. I can remember overhearing adults gossiping about Joan down the street's husband cheating on her and -and so-and-so's sister having breast cancer, but never once did I overhear anybody talk about mental health. It was definitely like this dirty little secret, and nobody talked about it, (laughs) and especially not the importance of maintaining it. I mean, hell, as a small kid, I knew all about Joan's husband fornicating with the waitress at our local Zips, but God forbid anyone mentioned Joan needing to go to therapy after her husband totally shattered her world. Thankfully, these days, caring for our mental health is finally becoming a priority. It truly does affect how we live and how we love, so it's pretty imperative we do our best to keep our brains healthy. Doing things like meditating, power naps bubble baths, all of those help. But honestly, you guys already know for me, therapy is the real MVP. That's where BetterHelp Online Therapy comes in. Y'all already know how we are huge proponents of therapy. Hell, how many times did we recommend it just this episode? I've actually used BetterHelp before, and it was not only convenient, but I promise you it really was beneficial. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat-only therapy sessions, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to, and I usually don't want to. It's less expensive than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. If for any reason you want to switch therapists, you can also do that with no extra charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash hello today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash hello. Um, okay, so one thing, I had an incident last week. Um, I don't remember what day it was, but that don't matter. I was at Staples Mm -hmm. and you know, those are my homies. I ship shit out of there all the fucking time. They got like a few new staff members, right? Oh, I go in there. Staples is hit or miss for customer service, by the way, with me. Well, the ones that I have been encountering, like for the past six months, I really like, Mm -hmm. I really like all everybody there. So I go in and there's this young Asian girl working in the shipping area or whatever. And there's a lady in front of me like picking up a custom order. I'm just shipping something for like Mercari. So it's, it's like a um, prepaid label that I have. So literally I'm just dropping it off and asking for a receipt real easy. So I'm like, whatever. Um, I'm waiting. Um, this lady is like fucking taking forever. She starts talking so fucking crazy to, to the young girl saying shit hell aloud to her like well what what else do you think i'd be here for and blah 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 and, and like up. the girl was asking her like are you picking up a custom order or are you picking up an online order because that's a whole that's in the front it, right. on online there's well, different lines why else would i be here if i wasn't like talking to her so fucking crazy number one i wanted to kick her in the back of her fucking kneecaps hella hard um and make her legs buckle but I waited for that bitch to get out the way. I pulled cash out my purse. I gave it to that little girl. I was like, you handled that so well. I said, because I'm telling you right now, if I was in your position, I would not have a job right now. And I'd probably be on my way to jail. So the bitch is in the front with her custom order now waiting to like pay. And um, I went and found the manager. I took time because I was kind of in a rush, but I was like, this is insane. So I went to find the manager and I was like, I just want to let you know the, the girl that's working in the shipping area right now handled this so beautifully. I was like, the piece of shit, rude ass lady is right there in line in the front. So I want to let you know right now, I was witness to everything. I even tipped her because she did so well. I want you to just know and acknowledge that she handled her. Oh my fucking God. And I was thinking if that was one of our kids, like I would would not want no old, miserable, angry ass bitch coming in there talking fucking crazy to them. And for what? For what did that? I wanted to ask her. She was like bullying the girl. I wanted to ask her, did that make you feel? better are you like leaving here satisfied now it did that make did. you bully ass bitch this girl is like 16 17 years a baby. old baby 
hella timid, hella answering her questions, taking deep breaths, taking a minute. If it was Naya, she probably would have cried, dude. That's all I was thinking about is like, um, she really took that on the chin and like was still giving excellent service and help, you know, polite, like you fucking cunt. It made me so mad. I would so, ban- like that manager should ban her from the fucking <clears throat> store. No, for real. And, um, I, I, was abuse. Sh- I was sure to point her out. So that way, if he wants to be like, pull up her order. So I have her yeah. name or something. I don't know, but I made sure he knew who the fuck she was. And, um, I just wanted to tell that story so that like if you guys encounter some shit like that where like um, a person is being abused by customers make sure their manager knows right. that like what happened because like I think that could really help them feel better about it it would help me if yeah. someone went you know it pissed me off so bad I want to whoop that bitch's ass but um, I hate shit like God. that yeah it like it made me so so mad that happened um especially when you're a fucking whole grown ass adult talking to a fucking child like mm-hmm. that that's really the shitty. way she was trying to talk to her was like oh my fucking god and i don't want to call her a karen but like she was being a karen this was actually a black woman though but she was being a fucking she was just insane like i cannot believe you're talking to somebody like that like it was just it was uncalled for that's the thing right like, nobody was giving you a hard time nothing nobody set was, it off <clears throat> no one made you wait like none of that you were first in line like you know as that soon as you sucks. came in it, it sucked yeah so um that i wanted to talk about also, um, this next Friday, no, this next Saturday is the, um, wrestling event yes. that we kind of spot we're a sponsor for we on the sponsor. list of sponsors. And so I'm really excited about that. If you are in the Bay area and you want to come out with us, it's at the Irish center in San Francisco. There's under a hundred tickets left. So I'm just saying like, get your tickets now. Yeah. There's a bar in there that I'm excited about. I don't know if they have bloody Mary stuff. I'm going to ask bring your own bloody Mary mix. in my purse. Um, and I would like for us to show our, up and show out our last Patreon episode we recorded earlier this week is actually with one of the wrestlers that are yeah, wrestling. Yeah. And it's like a big fight for him. Like yes. it's for some title. It's or something. for the championship. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really, so even if you don't like wrestling and you just like us coming yep. with us, we're going to have our own section. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. Yes. So. And the fact she's coming is a big deal. It's a big deal. Bitch. Don't be going nowhere. Nope. Um, <laughs> what else? The so cartel the, video. Oh my God. Let me tell you guys. I was in LA when you sent it to me. So the, I, cu- I didn't let the girls watch. Okay, good. That's they were like, asking to, no. and I was like, I, my chest hurts. So, <laughs> you know, it takes a lot to affect her, right? I'm a sick person. We've talked about faces of death VHS back in the day. And I've mentioned this Facebook group called morgue morticia. We have grown up watching gore, yes. like real life gore. And I can watch people, certain people gore. I can't watch kids or animals gore at all. Um, and so someone had posted and it said, I was just sitting on my little bed in the hotel, a sunny day. I think it all was the morning. Sudden, yeah. All of a sudden I get a fucking text. She's like, watch it now. Watch it now. You have watch to watch it now. this. The, the post, all it said was, um, basically I got this from Reddit. Um, it's recent. It's the worst one yet. And I'm like, what the fuck? And you know, cartel videos be really brutal. It's usually a dull knife. They're sawing off body parts. Yeah. Trigger warning, by the way, you guys, um, but this one is bad, like fucking horribly bad. I've never seen one. I think the the preface you gave it was like, this might be the worst thing. Yeah. The worst one I've seen. And so I'm thinking, eh, whatever, pussy. Pussy. Uh, so I sent it to her. It affected her. Oh my Listen God. To me. It affected me to the point where my mouth was hanging open. I was like holding my face, squeezing my face while I was watching it I with hold, my hand. I held my breath. Um, my afterwards I had chest pain and it kind of felt like heartburn, but it wasn't, it felt more like pressure. And the girls were like, what the fuck did you just watch? What? And I was like, wait, wait. I was like, I got to make sure I see the whole thing before I respond to her. Mm. I got to finish the whole thing. Mm -hmm. They were like, what is it? Let me see. It just just kept getting worse. I was like, absolutely fucking not. You guys cannot watch this. And we're pretty lenient. Right. But I was like, this, this no. has my sick at, like I could do an autopsy and eat a sandwich for at sure. the same time. I'm not fucking tripping. This, I had fucking chest pains and it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It involves 
a Colombian necktie. I, I don't know if that's offensive. I had to tell the girls what that was. Yes. Um, do you want to tell people for those that don't know? It's when they cut a hole, a slit or something under the bottom of your jaw and they pull your tongue through. Yes. So it hangs like a necktie. And they not only scalp him, but From basically the back. in pieces. Like, am I okay? The worst part is, dude is awake and conscious the entire time. And they scalp him piece by piece and then they basically deglove his whole head. Everything but the eyelids. And he the doesn't eyelids even scream. And lashes. At one point, because um, when the guy starts, he starts, oh my fucking God, he starts scalping him from the back of his neck, right? So when he starts, he's doing it or whatever, and then he like flips him over so he could do the face. And two of the other guys come and they put their foot on his chest. And all he, and says, all he said was, don't step on me. The whole fucking video. He's calm. He's not screaming. He's not struggling. I'm, I'm like, you, he has to be doped up or he has so much pride. He's like, fuck. You. I've seen videos where the cartel is killing women and they're like spitting on them and don't say shit. And they're like, fuck you. Hey, like, do what I, you got to do. Them and women they get were their hardcore. Cut, get their head cut off with no fight back, mm. no pushback whatsoever. Yeah. That's, that's the attitude that he had. Every nothing. Everything was gone <laughs> except eyelids. And eyelash hair. It was so bad. And it's so weird to see just the jaws and the teeth and the fucking, his nose was the cut eyes. off, like everything. And he's like blinking every now and then. And then they do the Colombian necktie and then they make a slit in his chest, pull out his heart and they show his beating heart. For a long time. Put it by his face, put it above him, hold it. The only thing I could think was his cholesterol was pretty good because his heart is his not heart that fatty. Great. He it had tr- like lines of fat, but not a lot. Like he he must have ate a good diet. I only could watch um, it once because it's I didn't just watch it so more than once. Fucking it's bad, and it's long. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like five minutes, and it's with a flash. Oh, so it's, there's no having to make anything out. It's all presented it's really bad. clearly if you like that shit oh my fucking god it's really so bad. what group is it in morgue morticia oh my god i've never seen anything that bad in my, and i've seen same people shotgun blast their head off i've seen fucking hit mm. by trains i've seen all kind of shit but like that right there i just kept thinking like what if that was my dad or my brother oh my fucking god horrific dude yeah i didn't think anything like that i don't have anybody that i'm like <laughs> close to like that, that i give a fuck about <laughs> i don't know if it, i was I just like men Jesus i love christ it's yeah. just bad it's so fucking but it's like very cool to see because he was so quick with it it's one of them regular ass knives my dad used to wear on his fucking it belt. was actually sharp um he just was quick with it he yes. knew right where to get the heart from pulled it out you could so tell he done it so many times he probably does that shit five times a week it's like his job yeah yeah i was like wow he's quick with the knife he's good there was no struggle no, whatsoever God, he, he got the job done oh so bad yeah oh i want to date somebody like that you're insane i do that's when i say so when you like, want to break up he kills you no i don't want him to trip off me like that just like if somebody talks back to me or something i want that kind of you're like deep glove him i'm calling him yep you think i'm not calling jose i'm calling jose <laughs> right now um <laughs> Bitch. I keep talking about OnlyFans, but I want to ask, are men okay? Because um, I've had a lot of people think they're too good to subscribe. Do you want to support me or not? But they want your nudes. But they want to buy them direct, like I used to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I want subscribers. And and here's the math. Like, I just want the math to math for them. Mm -hmm. If I sell you some direct, it's going to be like two for a hundred. If I'm feeling generous that day. Right. If you subscribe to my motherfucking OnlyFans (laughs) for $50, you're going to get a plethora of shit. Right. You're never going to get that amount of content from me for $50 ever. So it makes more sense unless you already have the shit, which no one right now will. I don't want my wife to know. Get a prepaid card. I got an answer They're, for everybody. I love it. Get a prepaid card. It won't show up on no statement and you can subscribe. It just, it makes me so mad. And then like somebody like, like just the fucking attitude that I got from a few people, like, um, followers that like wrote me and were like, let me just send you the bread. Like very like, no, do what I said. I'm not doing. Yeah. And I'm not doing that. No, like, no, I'm giving you an option. I'm on a new business. Do you want to, uh, this is a new business. Like, do you want to win? Cause I'm giving you a chance to win. Right. I don't know, but whatever. Um, but I did just want to say, I'm also 
this isn't a shameless promotion from, is it? I want women to subscribe also, not only because I like women, but because if you have any questions about the game, that's where it's going to be yeah. for you to, that, that would be the appropriate right. place to ask. So, um, and I'm sharing whatever resources and game I got because I like when women do that. Right. You know, I read this little <laughs> article that said, um, and you know, no shame. Let me just say that you, if it's your body, you do what you want. I support it. Yeah. Um, but I know how you feel about hair. And mm-hmm. it, so it was a little article talking about how pussy hair coming out of your bikini is the feminist statement for summer 2023. They're lying to y'all. They're fucking, li- don't you do that. Don't do it. I don't care. I listen. I'm all for hairy vaginas, but uh, are let's you? keep it in our bikini. Are you though? You know, I, I, if Let that's what you, somebody wants, mm, you're nicer for their me. body. Um, I'm all for the hairy part that's above like the slit, the lips. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have hella hair down there. So don't make a motherfucker have to part that shit. Comb to, it and like get a comb. And or like, what about discharge? What about wetness? What about, I don't want hella wet hair going on. I get that. Keep the hair above sea level. Yeah. No, for, <laughs> that's you know? a great way of putting it. But for somebody else's body, whatever they're comfortable with, I'm high five for myself. I agree. I don't want it Below sea I have level. Seen, yeah, I have seen some where like a landing strip is cute, but I, yeah, or but a little I, patch is cute. But yeah. it's all to me. This is my preference. It's above. I'm at the point right now in my feminism mm-hmm. where I don't want it fully bald above sea level. Yeah, I, you know, I want a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be fully. Makes you feel weird. Yeah. I don't know. For yourself? For myself. I want like a little line. A little bit. But it's really, it's really, it's like short, like a flat top. It's a fade. Yeah. But it's like. It's a a landing strip? Yeah. I got a line. But everything below sea level is gone. There's nothing else. Are you going to show people on Patreon? (laughs) Oh, of course. (laughs) I'm going to do full spread. Wow. That's news. I'm kind of surprised about that. Yeah. Was this your way of making that announcement? No, bitch. (laughs) Your breakthrough. It's my way of telling all of you guys about my vagina hair. No, (gasps) but I thought it was weird that they said pussy hair hanging out of your bathing suit. They mean suits. creeping the sides. Yes. Don't fucking do that. I don't, mm-hmm. I remember. To me, it just, sorry. It I, just doesn't look maintained. Well, it creeps me out. I remember being like 12 years old and swimming at my friend's pool and a grown woman was getting in the pool and it was just like insane, like Mm-mm. on the sides. Mm-mm. And I just remember how weird it made me feel yeah i was like i don't like it Mm-mm. you know to me but that could be my own yeah to me weirdness. it looks like poor hygiene poor maintenance but i know a lot of people me. that don't shave anything and i don't appreciate that at all i don't i'm me i don't <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm somebody that likes to shave from head to toe. Obsessively. Obsessively so that I feel like a dolphin at all times. I hate you. A fucking slick dolphin. Speaking of dolphin, I seen two videos today of men getting eaten by sharks. Did you happen to come across them? No. One of them is recent. It's a bull shark um, in Egypt. I forget which sea it is. Those of you that are really smart with geography will know. But, um... He's fucking swimming and a bull shark fucking attacks him and eats him right in front of everybody. The other one is a dude in Australia Mm -hmm. um, that was like training for some fucking event Mm -hmm. and a great white fucking comes out the water vertically and fucking eats him in front of people. And a dude is just standing there continuing to fish. I think the sea has had it. I think so. I think with the orcas and, and their activities the submersive the fucking submersive i think the sea has fucking had it like stay out of it yeah like enough is enough yeah that video and the woman in one of the videos recording is going oh my god oh my god because what can you do throw something at its head well there's get a a harpoon or something and fucking (laughs) get it 
You better figure it out. I don't go me. to the lake with a harpoon. You better have. Isn't that the thing with the law? You're not going out that far <laughs> no. for sure. I do want a whale watch really bad in Monterey. Yes, really, really for orcas. But you'll, really you'll be bad. on a you'll be on a boat, so you'll yeah. be okay. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm sure they were at some point too, though. No, he was just swimming. Oh, and yeah, just mm, swimming. That's that arrogance. The one in Egypt. That's that human arrogance. We and don't a need small to have. boat, like a small fishing boat, comes over, mm-hmm. but it's way too late. Like it's just, oh my god, it's pretty brutal yeah the ocean is fed up i think I so think. i definitely think so nature's like i fucking <laughs> we've had it with you guys yeah i just said to someone the day before yesterday how can humans be both the smartest and dumbest fucking creatures on the planet at the same time i think it's male arrogance and caucasian arrogance that ruins like if, a I little think bit if those were eliminated a little bit for sure There'd be a lot more peace. Greed. Greed is huge. Greed, yeah. But among white men, I think, or who are wreaking havoc on the planet and the ocean and the fucking, you know? Yeah. Something very cool. Do you remember the movie Biodome with Polly Shore? Mm-mm. I'm going to come back to this after I tell you this. But <clears throat> so in the movie Biodome, you're never going to watch it. I'm just going to give you the synopsis. Yeah. Basically, there's a huge biodome, like, right, a biosphere mm-hmm. that's created mm-hmm. to, I forget what it's created to replicate. I'm going to just say Earth. Okay. Don't fucking quote me, everybody. But Polly Shore's character accidentally, and they're locking it down for a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. And Polly Shore's character accidentally gets fucking locked in there and so mm. he has to live in this experiment is that, is for that a few years f- foreshadowing is that called mm-hmm. i don't know go ahead <laughs> i'm like i don't know I'm where we're going <laughs> i don't know where we're driving to I don't know where we are. <laughs> so um in real life mm. recently one was created to replicate mars and mm. there are astronauts being they just sealed it so they will be in there for 365 days and they have to live like it everything has been duplicated like mars like mm. the atmosphere the but geography where are they actually located um i'm not sure which state but here it's, on earth is it all men no Oh. No, so I don't know if they're gonna be having trying to have. I told you those submarine spacesuit people sex. definitely started fucking each other before it was over. If they knew, well, if it imploded, they fucking they didn't, didn't know. know. But if it, but if it did, if they knew it was you. coming, they for sure just. I know how men are. <laughs> the son was probably fucking the dad. Like, oh no, my, fucking, that's the that. first <laughs> thing she said to me. If they knew they were dying, they definitely fucked each other. <laughs> She she said, I know men. I know men. And I know that's exactly what they they would have wanted to experience a bunch of kink weird shit before they. And that would be the last fucking thing on my mind as a woman. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, but no, not men. They're going to be like, we're going to fuck this wall. I'm going to fuck this fucking um, bring a dolphin in here. Mm -mm. They would have. So back to Biodome. Do you remember Polly Shore? Yeah. Okay. He was very. He, he was stoner. Yeah. And he was like, oh my God, dude. He was very big in like the early nineties yeah. through the nineties. Mm-hmm. He was in like Encino man, a bunch of movies. Mm-hmm. Okay. And his character was, he was like the stoner surfer short character. Yeah. Guy. Like, um, very lackadaisical. That's the okay. word of the fucking the episode. Of, Jesus Christ. Um, so he, um, my mom really took to him and liked him a lot. What? She's so random. Listen, what? she went through a fucking phase. She did not go through a Polly Shore phase. Oh, ask, ask my brothers. We would be somewhere and she would just bust out a Polly Shore quote. She would be like, cause we're munching on some grindage. I'm about to, don't ever do Bitch, that again. I'm we about would to be mortified. That's how I feel right now. Mortified. Don't ever. <laughs> Next time, just say it normal. Nope. I, when she, next time she's around, it was in I'm public. Gonna, oh my god! It was any and everywhere. And next time she's around, I'm gonna fucking have her do it. And I'm gonna fucking get mad. Oh, and leave. you're gonna fucking crawl under the table. 
Can you imagine? Why is she so random? Why? I would never in a million years think that she would like a character like oh, that. Oh my fuck. The munching on some grindage. Like, that makes me We angry. have trauma. We have PTSD. Poly from, Shore trauma. We have Poly Shore fucking trauma from Charlene. 100%. What the fuck? Wait, wait what made you bring that up? Oh, because you brought up the, the movie Because the Biodome example. and the Mars experiment oh, that's happening, God, which I think no. is so fucking cool right now. Okay. We have a few write-ins. Wait, I don't, I'm not there yet. Oh, I'm not okay. there yet. I'm not there yet, <laughs> girl. I'm Western. <laughs> you I'm got, not there yet. You got country and Western. Hold on a second. Okay. Speaking of the rodeo is next Sunday, the black rodeo. Are you coming or not? Probably not. It's Saturday and Sunday, but we have ra- wrestling on Saturday, so we're going on Sunday. Oh, I won't be here Sunday. You're a fuck. Where are no, you, where are where, you gonna going to be? We're going to the fucking cabin with mom. Remember? When? Sunday, the 9th. 9th 10th 11th I hope she does Polly Shore for you I'm gonna record her I'm gonna go live and then I'm gonna You're record annoying. I'm gonna record her well me and, and my friend you. Ashley um will be there and Bunny will be there and I think I invited like Bunny's friend and his parents that you don't and, like, even know that I don't even fucking know because I was awkwardly talking um and I'm gonna invite all of you so so <laughs> giddy up the Bill Pickett Black Rodeo is gonna be out here on Saturday and Sunday I'm going on Sunday so um that'll be fun though hella fun we went last year it was so much fun hold on i think i had one more thing i wanted to talk oh one more thing okay um frank frank i do have um, one more thing sorry go ahead from five and dime that tattooed at five and dime in oakland passed away suddenly what um i still don't know the cause of his passing but he was like a hella cool person he was an og graffiti guy um he was like, yeah, like I one of the, he's like a big that. deal yeah. in the graffiti community and whatnot. And he random, he tattooed my rocker for I know how the people he fucking tattooed. Yeah. And, um, like, like Lev, he did all Lev's work. Like he amazing tattooer. He fucking passed away the other day. So I just wanted to acknowledge and say RIP to him. Fuck. I don't know what happened, but I know he had kids and, um, cool story. Um, damn, I don't, I don't think he's with his girl anymore, but when he tattooed me, me um like we were social media friends yeah. not on no fucking shit right, or right. liked each other or anything but um we were social media friends and he was like come out like you know i got some time today if you want to get tattooed i showed up his girl was like hella fucking drunk and like causing a scene and like cussing him out and acting a goddamn fool in front of his shop and i was just like hey like if you want me to i'll beat her ass like I right now you real calm and casual and um he was laughing and you're like hey i'll stab her for you (laughs) i was like i will whoop her ass right here for you since i'm already here and um he was like laughing but he knew i was serious and you know he was like trying to check her or whatever but i'm one of those that like i'm always going to volunteer my services before i want like a man to handle it himself if it's a girl if it's a you know what i'm saying like my bros all fucking know that and shit like i don't want you putting hands on a bitch or like not saying he would but i just right right i didn't want it to get to that level but um yeah and he ended up tattooing me for free that day and she you just, offered your service not because of that he no he just <laughs> just on love just because he yeah, was a yeah. cool ass dude and he um, was i was like damn like that he, he just did amazing work on so many of my friends and he's been yeah a, he's very well known around hella here. known just an oakland staple for like yeah generations so um yeah it's a big loss damn. big loss for oakland for sure that's crazy yeah R.I.P. Um, to him. So I don't know if you guys remember, um, uh, possibly a couple episodes ago, I mentioned that Will's godson had gotten shot. Mm -hmm. Um, And so the most recent update is the doctors believe there's about a 20% chance that he'll walk again. He still isn't walking? No. And he's at an Oakland rehab facility. Mm -hmm. Um for therapy and he'll be there for a while um you know and he's trying to maintain a positive attitude he's a baby he just turned 20 well 22 he's my son's age yeah and it just was uncalled for and fucked up but if anybody feels inclined um get well cards or a little hope you feel better, whatever yeah. would be really appreciated if Hell anyone yeah. has time, even if you chicken scratch it on a piece of paper. It takes fucking five minutes. Um, the address is 
350 Hawthorne Avenue, Oakland, California, 94609. And um, what's his name? Angel Beltran, B E L T R A N. We'll make a post also yeah. on our social media. We could put it in the Facebook group and also right. on our Instagram because I know I would definitely He's want He's such a good yeah. kid, man. It's fucked up. It's so. heartbreaking. If you guys are able to, thank you so much. If not, of course, I still love all of you. Um, and then we have some write-ins. All right. So first one. <clears throat> Hello, Pat and Crystal. My name is Arlene. I'm 19 from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm writing in because I needed to show some appreciation and love to you guys. Hmm. I started listening January 2020 because my sister has followed Pat since the OG Insta days. Hmm. It's funny because we thought you were from Richmond, Virginia at first. You guys helped me through so many tough times when I started getting really bad anxiety last year. Um, I would listen to you guys to get my mind off things. Hello Dysfunction was the first podcast I ever listened to and truly opened up a whole new world to me. You ladies have even inspired me to start my own podcast. Hey. Uh, uh, It's called The Mind of the Young and Confused because I want to interview successful people to help other people like me who are young and confused. I love that concept. Same. It would actually mean the world to me if I could get the chance to interview you guys. Of course. You ladies have an insane amount of wisdom and growth and finding your path and just growing up in general that I think my audience could really benefit from. Anyways, I've rambled enough. I just want to say I love you both in the whole HD community. I love that. I love that. And we would love to come on your podcast. Yes, congratulations. Yeah, it's not easy, so... Mm -mm. Definitely congratulations. All right. You want to read the... Sure. Um, I saw a friend while we were in LA and um, they told me, well, they told the girls because the girls like wanted strawberries or something. Mm -hmm. And they told the girls that don't eat strawberries anymore because um, the amount of pesticides that are in strawberries, it's been found that you could juice strawberries and... um, fertilize or whatever use that pesticide on a whole new batch the amount that's in strawberries so. i eat fucking mcdonald's i do too never mind all right <laughs> for those of you that are health conscious <laughs> and give a fuck about your life if you care about your life i i don't even know if that's true but whatever <laughs> it's fucked up if it is yeah it is but all right fuck okay birthday shout out Hey, aunties, I'm writing in with yet another birthday shout out. Happy birthday, Juicy Boosie. We love you so much and are so grateful for you. You light up our feeds regularly, and I'm so happy to have the opportunity to know you through our amazing HD family. You sent me such a lovely, unexpected birthday wish that I wanted to give it back tenfold. Um, let Let's hear let's hear it for our amazing Hello Dysfunction mascot. <laughs> he is our street team. He for is a sure. one man street team. He, he really is the fuck down. Um the Everescent Juicy Boosy, we love you, Boo. Happy birthday. Kiss hug from the other bunny. Oh I love that. And I love him. He's in Kentucky. And one he's day, just fucking amazing. Whenever we do get a chance to meet in person, I'm gonna squeeze him so hard. I, no, for I real, him. because the amount I'm of gonna love. I'm going to pick him up and spin in circles like three times. The amount of love he's just shown us. And he's from a good ass one. person. He is. We he's love you. He's a sweet angel baby. And I hope his birthday was great. And Bunny, that was really sweet of you. Yes. Mm. Okay. Hello, my Theas. Just wanted to write, just want to write to y'all and thank you both from the bottom of my heart for being so open with your family dysfunctions and <laughs> advocating for mental health. Growing up, I've dealt with family members having drug and alcohol addictions, depression, and at the age of 24, dealt with my father passing away. Mm. I didn't want to be part of the dead dad club, but it is but it is what it is now. It fucking sucks. Um, July 1st will be my 31st birthday, and I want to give myself a birthday shout out. Both my sun and moon are in cancer, but the real kicker is my rising is in Taurus. Mm. Basically, I'm a crybaby, but stubborn as fuck. God yep. damn. I was just going to say, <laughs> right. you are an emotional yes, asshole. Stubborn ass. Mm-hmm. Basically, I'm a crybaby, but stubborn as fuck. Laughing my ass off. Love you both and hope 
one day I'll be able to catch a live show in the future. Mm. Much love, Selena. P.S. I'm also a lefty like the Apple. Oh, happy and, birthday. And peace. I know. She's the only lefties we know. Um, say happy birthday. I happy love that. Happy birthday. You want to do this one? Happy Dead Dad Club, right? Yeah, that too. It's fucking great. Okay. Um... Pata and Crystal, I would love to give a birthday shout out to my cancer bestie sister, Veronica. Her birthday is July 9th. She's the one who introduced me to the podcast and I've been hooked. We bring up episodes and just laugh about who's funny and uh, let me try it again. (laughs) We bring up worse off. (laughs) We bring up episodes and just laugh about funny who fun who's funny and dysfunctional. You two are just like us. I love you so much, Vero. Wish you the best birthday. You deserve nothing but the but the best. Love, Tweezy. Hey. Happy birthday. And thank you for sharing with your besties. Right. Okay. I thought this was... A listener DM'd us this, Caroline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it says, just because I know you guys love facts and you... Yes. <laughs> and you may already know this... But inherited trauma is very real. So I knew inherited trauma was real, but I didn't know they did this um, study. So Mm. they did a study on mice where they traumatized a mouse. I will die right now. Oh, my God. What did they do? You're a bitch. You're a little ugly ass bitch. Slap him around. Where they traumatized a mouse. Then she got pregnant and had babies. They took those babies away so they would not be around the mother. They were raised with a mouse that was not traumatized at all. And they still showed signs and symptoms of anxiety oh, and trauma. Oh. And it can be, and it could be seen in their DNA. <gasps> oh. That's fucking insane. That's really fucked up. It's really sad. So not only... Are you fucking me up? You're fucking up future generations. Yeah. You piece of shit. It's fucked up, man. Uh. Um, okay. So this is, is, it says, I love your guys' podcast. I commute an hour to and from work each way and work 12 hour shifts. Mm. So for 14 hours out of my day, I'm listening to you guys. Oh. Hope that don't come off weird. I just can't get enough of your guys' crazy <laughs> stories. I swear you guys should write a book or make a movie of your childhood together. Much love. Please keep the laughs and tears coming. Yes, I'm a grown ass man that cries with you guys. I love you. Because I'm such an empath. I oh love my God. You. We love you. And it says also, can you guys please give a shout out to my wife, Jennifer, and let her know that she's doing an amazing job at being a mom to our two boys. No matter the struggles, she's always there providing and taking care of them the best she can. And we love and appreciate her more than she will ever know. I love that. And that is from, okay, Instagram name is Dirty C. Dirty C and Jennifer. That's so great. I love y'all. Thank you guys for listening to us. Yes, and sharing. And and being a grown-ass man who's not afraid to admit they fucking cry. Yeah. That is such a plus. Emotionally healthy men. Right. That's very much a plus. Mm -hmm. So FYI to the others. Spread the word. Yep. And um, that's all we got. That's it. I'm going to go bathe now and like put on real clothes and like paint or something i'm not going anywhere anymore. Uh, as i'm anymore. sitting here putting my lighter between my fucking toes and i keep forgetting we're doing video i gotta stop being weird you flick it her toes she would probably be able to oh i can spread them like mm-hmm. a fucking hand okay Pick up items i need to stop it <laughs> i am going to go fucking relax because i've been cooking chicken all day for my client that loves meats oh he eats so much chicken it's crazy meats it's become a joke yeah all right um for those of you that are coming to the live show we want to let you guys know there will be merch available there also for everybody who is not coming to the live show once we are done with the live show we will be doing merch again sometime in august so for all of you who've been and wondering. Someone asked on live earlier and I felt so fucking bad because they were like apologizing for asking for an update on the it's not a scam or maybe it's a scam. They've been ordered. Yes, that's what I said. And so 
I apologize. I explained broke First down the company whole fucked us. issue with the fucking vendor that we've used many times before. Um, I don't know. They fell off. So yeah. uh, I had to like file a dispute and hella shit. We're having but to fight. We got a new order placed. So you yes. will have your merch. So they're coming. And um, you guys are amazing. Join our Patreon. There's going to be a bunch of videos coming soon. Yeah. Because we're doing a lot of video. Guest episodes and good stuff. Yeah. And thank you guys for rating, reviewing, sharing all the fun stuff. Yes. You guys are the best. We love you. That's it. Suck it easy. Go to bed. That's where I'm going.